good morning guys happy monday today is monday and uh, i just want to use this opportunity to thank you guys you my old subscribers my new subscriber all my friends here on youtube that have been supporting me thank you so much i really appreciate you guys so how was you guys weekend i believe i trust god all is well my two went great but yesterday it, i will say i was a bit busy and I was exhausted. I was tired. I was so tired on Sunday yesterday. So this is how my kitchen looks on Monday morning. Look at this. Can you guys see? Can you guys see how my kitchen looks on Monday morning? Normally on Monday morning like this, I always like my kitchen to be very nice and tidy because, you know, I'll be doing school runs, getting myself 100% involved with my children. But <laughs> it doesn't mean because my kitchen is this messy, I'm not going to be 100% involved with my children. I'm always 100% there. <laughs> the kettle burned me because I like putting my hand on the kettle. Look, guys, look. I like putting my hand like this. <laughs> it burned me. It doesn't mean that like that even when i'm working out as a part-time mom i'm still 100 percent there and to tell you guys before sorry guys something is in my eyes <laughs> and to tell you guys before i'm not 100 percent mom i tell you guys i'm not 100 percent i'm not gonna hide it i'm not gonna lie to you guys when my kid was toddler when they were growing up i wasn't 100 percent mom i was like a part-time mom because i was working there more than i was spending I was working then, taking my job serious more than the way I take my family, you know, like, before you know you go to work, you do seven days a week, you do six days a week, like, what time do you have for your family, but now I learn a lot, so about 2000 and, I think it's about 2016 ending, I resigned my job, those of you that you are new and I've been home since then, full time mom, it was only last year, uh, September that I started working, but I'm only doing part-time two days a week. What the, Even the job I'm doing, my children does not even know that I'm not at home. I'm working, do you understand? So that is it. So I'm always full-time mom since then, full-time. So anyway, I woke up early. My daughter is taking her shower. So I'm here. I'm going to tidy up the whole place. And yesterday, let me show you guys. I make my money yesterday. Those of you that watched that video that I said I feel like having my money because of the leaf. I wanted to do a video about it, how I make the moimoi leaf, how I make the jollof rice, but I was so tired, I was exhausted. I just entered the kitchen yesterday evening around 5. I did everything I'm supposed to do because if I said I should do video, the recipe video yesterday or I should do a day-to-day -day vlog yesterday, cooking. Everything I did here took me like one hour to finish. Is it less than one hour? But if I said I want to do video, it will, it might take me like two to three hours, and I was so exhausted, I wasn't ready for that. And I also make uh jello fries. Can you guys see? So I made all that yesterday. But don't worry, guys. If you didn't see how I make this in another video, I'll be showing you. But those of you that you are new, maybe you may I thinking, oh, I wish to see how you make the moimoi. I have a lot of recipe moimoi on my channel. How to use moimoi leaf, how to use plastic, how to use foil, how to use um sandwich bag. I have all on this channel. So look for it. You'll find it. <laughs> so now I'm going to uh start cleaning the sink i'm gonna wash the dishes and then i'm gonna pack my son um pack lunch and then i'm gonna go upstairs and get him ready <laughs> okay guys and if you are new to my channel you haven't seen any of my jollof rice recipe you can check out i have so many jollof rice recipe on my channel so anyway i'm dishing my husband some food because he's ready for work so i just want to quickly fix something for him to eat i mean the rice and my money I also made this chicken yesterday, 
so if you are wondering how i make it i have a recipe for it already on my channel so you can check it out how to make oven chicken how to grill chicken how to make barbecue chicken i have so many so you can check it out Take a shower. I have to get out here. <laughs> so guys, just clean the cooker. And I've washed all the dishes. Can you guys see?
so guys this is the one she is going to be having for breakfast so i just get it ready so that when it come down you're just gonna have it because i tell you guys time is not my side at all i'm still gonna take my shower he hasn't taken his shower so i'm gonna leave that when it come down you'll have it so guys i finished now i'm going upstairs to get him ready and get myself ready too bye darling have a nice day god bless thank you for doing a hair for me it's okay thank you so much god bless <sighs> let me see have you done your hair come Hola, me there. thank you it's beautiful go and have your breakfast okay darling okay okay see you and look at my daughter's hair i'm so happy because i'm running late her sister did it for her my 12 year old did this before she went to school this morning i'm so happy but for me to say i want to do this hair i'll be super late so now i'm going to take my shower my son is down already he's having his food i've put his food on the table water with his vitamins so i'm going to take my shower now and then we're gonna start going have you had breakfast uh, yeah Eh? Yes. You've had breakfast? Yes. You're all on power, but you jump. She doesn't like having breakfast in the morning. So, guys, I'm ready now. I'm ready to rock and roll. And um, it's coconut oil I normally use for my skin. Let me show you guys. Those of you that you are new, my old subscriber know. Can you guys see? I use coconut oil. Me and my family. Not my husband, though. You know, I keep saying he, he has his own cream. He, I think he used Nivea or something like that. But I use coconut oil. I think coconut oil is the best to use, ladies. <laughs> so I'm ready now. And I did well. The time is just 9 minutes past 8. Normally, we leave the house uh, 15 past 8. Or sometimes, latest, latest, 20 minutes past. But I always uh, like to leave the house early in case of traffic. You know, sometimes we get to the school early, maybe like 15 minutes early. I still prefer that than being late because sometimes there's always traffic. Whether Sometimes even if I leave the house around uh, 15 minutes past, I still end up being sometimes one minute late <laughs> or one second late. So I'm always... It's better to be early. You know what I mean, guys? So I want to start going now. Sorry, guys. The way I'm breathing. I just rushed downstairs to get my wig and I rushed back upstairs. That's why I'm breathing like that. So let's go. Are you ready, sugar pie? No. I'm sure you're ready. Okay. Are you guys ready? Oh, my days. Thank God. We are in time. What's the time? 20 past. And I'm saying we are on time. We are not on time, okay? your time on in jesus name um so um we are in the car now i want to drop the kids to school sugar pie are you okay Aladdin, why did you cover your face like that as if you are in uh, iceland are you in iceland yeah. Hmm? Yeah. i have some message here that i want to listen to that i've not had time if you're gonna turn on the heater, can you please make it a bit higher? No, we can't on the heater now. Woo! We are going to school. I'll see you when I finish dropping my kids. Okay, guys. Love you guys. See you. <sighs> so, guys, I just finished dropping my children. How oh, bless them. And I'm inside the car. Normally, my plan this morning is when I drop the kids, I'm going to Costco. I want to get tissue. I want to get their ketchup. I want to get water. You know, normally I get the um, bottled water. 
like a small bottle of water like this i think it's about 24 in the packet and uh, it's very affordable normally that's what i get and they take to school uh it's, it's, it's better for me that way i prefer to buy that <laughs> because the reason why i said that my daughter my um 10 year old daughter has been begging me to buy water bottle since last year and i said no i'm not buying water bottle do you guys know why i said no because since she was in reception to year four she's in year five now i bought i normally buy water bottle at least two two times in a month or three times in a month she will be breaking it breaking it and i said when she reached year four i'm like no i'm not buying water bottle i i stopped so now she's in year five i still didn't buy it so i prefer to buy a bottle of water so that for them to just take and take to school except my son of course he is, is in reception so he still have water bottle is using don't know about that dagba. if you grow up and breaking 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 or if even if you didn't break and just waiting they have to buy one in maybe by year four i'm not buying water bottle for anybody they should take bottle water you know so that's what i'm supposed to do this morning. i'm supposed to carry you guys along when i'm going to costco to get all this stuff but now i remember that i did not bring my costco card and i don't even bring my card because yesterday i went out yesterday i went to get some things yesterday and i wore my other jacket it wasn't this jacket i wore so my card is inside and when we're rushing out i did not remember to put the money in to put the um the card in this jacket and i only have 10 pound here with me and the 10 pound i have i don't know whether i'll use it to buy petrol five pound petrol at least to take me home so that the car will not go and die on the middle of nowhere so i think i'm i'm not going to costco today and today that was my plan sorry guys i don't know what's wrong with my nose it's a bit that was the plan for me today to take you to carry you guys along when i'm going to costco but i'm not going to costco anymore and i don't think i'll go tomorrow maybe i'll go on wednesday and you guys you know i work wednesday and thursdays so maybe but i do night shift so that's okay so wednesday morning i'll go because tomorrow it's tuesday my son is having a, a show in school tomorrow so when i drop him i'm gonna stay and watch the show so um that's what's going on and i don't even have petrol in my car as i said i've said that already so i'm gonna get petrol five pound and the remaining five pound i'm gonna use to get the show get uh, is um, some of his uh, snacks small small tensha so that what is going on and um, yeah guys so um and as you guys can see uh i want to just quickly say this like tomore kole funwani simi yo tokwe alabi sang that look at the hair my daughter did this morning like I, let me tell you guys like i lose that hair yesterday and as i told you guys i was exhausted like what i showed you guys earlier the moment in the jello fry i wanted to make video earlier like day to day yesterday when i was doing it but i was so tired i'm like that video if i do it uh, i would just be exhausted because it's not easy to be editing stopping this try to get everything make everything is perfect the video you guys see for 20 minutes my video is always long because i don't i try to trim and trim and trim i don't know how i normally do it but most of my video is always 20 minutes i try to make 15 minutes because sometimes i watch uh, some of my youtuber friends they publish a video that worth 15 minutes and they, there's so much happen in that video there's so much happen me i don't know how to do it i don't know look i'm talking now it's already four minutes i don't know how to do it i try to make the video short but so i, I was so exhausted so yesterday i lose my daughter hair she had that braid since um december that's the braid she used for christmas so i lose it yesterday i washed the hair yesterday the time i washed her hair yesterday was 11 30 in the night 11 30 i washed it but i didn't blow dry because my husband was sleeping and i don't want to disturb him so i just dry the hair i use coconut oil to massage it and i just i just comb it and pack it like four one one here one here one here one there and then she went to bed and this morning I, when i was doing the video i was making this i was making that my daughter my oldest daughter because in the morning she go to school herself in the morning but i always pick her up uh, in the afternoon always before picking the sis the uh, assemblies so she helped me to do her hair this morning because if she didn't have if she didn't do her hair this morning for me i will be super late i don't even know how i'm gonna do it because we're running late already because i was doing video you know showing you guys what i do and the time wasn't on my side for me to go upstairs to blow dry her hair to cornrow it i don't know be late so she did it for me and i was so happy 
and i'm using this supporting to tell you moms if you have a daughter just teach your daughter how to do hair you know how to do little little things how to cook like my children now any day i'm not doing recipe when i cook sometimes i'll purposely not put a lot of seasoning and i'll say can you taste it how does it taste and they will tell me hmm, mommy something is missing you know just for them to learn like how food can taste before you know that it tastes nice <laughs> so that is it i just teach my children so if you're a mom please 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 i i have um <laughs> one of my friends she doesn't know even how to blow dry hair she doesn't know trust me and god gave her two daughters <laughs> the last time i saw her her daughter have one cornrow and the cornrow was so good i said ah what do your daughter cornrow she said i do it money but you don't know how to do it and she doesn't know how to do it she she doesn't our first daughter she will take her to salon they'll do her hair when the second daughter come you're like hey hey she learn how to do it by force by fire so this country is just teaching us so much i'm learning so much in this country like nigeria look at me i'm wearing wig since when did i lose this hair it's not since last week or going to two weeks now i lose this hair and i did come although i bought crochet that would do let me just cut the long story short because of this country i'm wearing this way you've seen a ninja idea how much did they do hair for ninja hair is not expensive but for me to see to, to me to do the crochet the crochet is 60 pound is it 60 pound now i haven't heard that they are doing it for 70 pound okay i bought the crochet that my daughter will do it for me but i still don't have time and i'm happy because when i get home now i'm gonna take off the wig and fresh hair is gonna enter my hair and sometimes when i'm even driving i just take it off me i don't care i take it off and put it beside me mm, me or anybody so you know like a lot you know like sometimes you just have to think about how to spend money and all that i know most of you that watch my video you know past that i said i did brazilian hair you guys know i sometimes we need to look after ourselves we need to look good and i got a lot of comments on that private comment that some people does not want you know some people was like hey janet you're a big madam who, hey 300 pound we get i'm not a big madam amen i claim it i'm a big madam but what i'm trying to say is 300 brazilian hair and some of you are like yeah me i cannot afford it too some people that i know is they are wearing 800 pound hair 1000 pound hair hey <laughs> me too i tell them me i cannot so level pass level. and it's not like that hair that i do it's not like 100 percent I can afford it but i just say i need to do it i need that for myself because i was i told you guys in one of the video but you guys you are new i'm gonna repeat it i said most of all, all my life let me just say all my life i've never kind of have time for me i always put my own load for my hand and put my family's load for head not my family here like maybe family back home and all that and maybe like that 300 pound i might say well i cannot afford to do 300 pound hair yeah where am i gonna get that money from but by the time i will spend this do this do that the money is already even past 300 and you cannot afford it for yourself please i don't know and it's not like when somebody is saying oh i cannot afford 300 pound brazilian hair it's not like they don't have that 300 pound guys it's not like they don't have it it's just like there's other thing that you can do with that money because in this country you have to pay your bills you have to pay your house rent you have to pay your uh rotors uh car suitors, uh, car insurance uh mot a lot and you have kids to look after you know you have water bill electricity how many can i start counting for you guys there's a lot so for you to just take that 300 pound and say i want to go and use it to do hair i mean it doesn't make sense i mean it doesn't like so when people are saying i cannot afford to do this kind of hair I, the money is too much it's not like they don't have that money to use for the hair do you guys understand they have it but they they are thinking instead of me to take this kind of money to do hair i might as well you know use it for so it's not like it's not like um me too i don't go to salon those of you that watch my video you know all the crochet i used to do is my daughter that always helped me it's a long 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 time i've been to a salon so you see it's a long time so it's not like somewhere somebody says i cannot afford this it's not like they don't they are not making the money or it's not like they don't have the money they have but you know what i mean guys so that is it level past level some people they can afford it times so they can do all the the bills they can do that and they still have the money to do the hair level past level we are gonna reach there one day in jesus name we're gonna pass we're gonna pass it okay we're gonna pass it in jesus mighty name because wait till we not sit down now everybody they hustle every day they hustle look at me i'm doing video now every video i do something they come out from it it's not like i it's not like before 
before when i publish video i don't make any money i just do it i just do it but now at least by publish any video if you guys see any video know that janet is gonna make money on this video it's not it's not a loss but it's helping as well that's why i'm also advising i've said it in some of my video a lot of my video that women have to have something doing and what what i also learned when i didn't when i stopped working for a few years i learned that woman should not have only one income have maybe like two income enter in your account when you have children if you don't have children if it's just you and your hobby that's okay or if it's just you you're not married but when you married you have children you cannot afford one income to be coming to your account i'm sorry to say have two or three you know coming in because now i told you guys i've started working you know i started working it's not like i'm really desperate even though if i don't work today i don't apply a job to start working i can still maintain myself i can still um um uh support my husband the little little way i'm supporting him it's not like i'm doing much my husband is doing everything it's me i'm I just they do whatever I, like buying meal powder every week my husband gives me money to spend but there are sometimes that you need to you know also leave something don't say because the man is doing then while they joke with tete -tete, you will not do anything it's not acceptable guys you have to help your husband so it's not like even if i don't go back to work now even then i wasn't even making money on youtube and i i was home mom you know and i wasn't on benefit we are not on benefits i'm telling you guys we're not i went to claim but they did they, they say i'm not entitled because i have a job i'm done that resign my job so i'm not entitled to benefit so we are not so you guys don't think oh she resigned a job she's on benefit now my job no they say i'm not entitled it's not like i don't have the uh, paper to apply but they say because i resign my job myself they don't help people that resign their job they help people that that look that's looking for job they don't have job and they are still looking for job and they need other evidence so so that was it you know what i mean so it's not like now that i'm even making some money on youtube and i'm doing other thing as well that is bringing me little little you know I can decide it today that I don't want to work and I'll still be okay. Do you understand? So, but I'm like, I need to work. I need to work. I just need to work, guys. Two days a week is not going to kill me. And I make sure that the two days I'm doing is not affecting my family. It's not, especially my children. It's not affecting them the way it was affecting them before. Do you guys understand? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, that's it. And I have a new channel. If you haven't checked that channel out, please check it out. And if I put it on my, um, on my community page you guys do not ignore the video i want you guys to watch it because even though if it's one person that uh, video is gonna help it's gonna help i have a new channel i'm doing my weight loss for summer and you guys the channel name is called it's called discover me so if you guys haven't checked it out check it out and support me there and it might help you if you want to lose weight belly fat all this one and you guys see my face it's like that. i want it to slim a bit you know what i mean to look <laughs> i'll see you guys love you guys bye so guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys. Bye. I'm going now.